Welcome to the B250 Pushback Tractor Operation and Shutdown Guide. This video will cover essential safety precautions and procedures to ensure the safe operation of your vehicle. Always ensure the engine oil level is between the minimum and maximum marks on the dipstick. Operating the engine with oil below or above these marks can cause severe damage. Do not disconnect the battery or turn off the battery disconnect switch while the engine is running. This can cause a damaging voltage surge in the alternator charging system. Ensure the transmission shift lever is in the N, neutral position, before attempting to start the engine. The engine starter will not engage if the shift lever is not in neutral. Turn the ignition switch clockwise from the off to the on position to energize the electrical system. When the system is energized, the dash gauges and indicators will activate momentarily as a system check. Wait for the wait to start indicator to turn off before turning the ignition switch to start. The time may vary depending on ambient temperature. Turn the ignition switch to start to engage the starter motor, then release it to on after the engine starts. After the engine starts, idle it for a few minutes and verify that all systems are operational, including lights, wipers, indicators, gauges, and brakes. With the parking brake applied in the shift lever in neutral, test the throttle to ensure it works correctly. For initial startups, let the engine run for five to 10 minutes before driving to allow all systems to reach normal operating temperatures. Now that the vehicle is ready to be driven, please refer to the manufacturer's operations manual on how to properly and safely operate the vehicle. When shutting down the engine, always allow it to idle for at least two minutes to stabilize and cool the engine temperature. After full load operation, idle the engine for three to five minutes before shutting it down to avoid premature damage. Turn the ignition switch to off and ensure all lights and accessories are turned off. Do not use the emergency stop button to shut down the vehicle. Only use the emergency stop button in case of an emergency. It will abruptly shut down the engine and transmission controller, which can cause sudden vehicle movement. Applying the park brake can cause severe deceleration. Brace yourself and warn any passengers or bystanders before applying it. By following these procedures, you help ensure the safety and longevity of your vehicle's engine and systems. Always prioritize safety and report any issues immediately. Thanks for watching.